So first, you're going to want to open up Roblox Studio, and then you're going to click Classic Base Plate, and then um, we're going to go to Plugins and Load Character, and then you're going to put in the username you want to make the 3D for it. I'm going to do mine, and then I have this here, and then I'm going to going to want to click yourself and then go to plugins and then click animation editor you're probably most likely not going to have this plugin so i will link it down in the description and you're going to want to click this and then click the torso and select and then from here you can make any pose you want i'm just going to do um a quick pose so i'm going to speed the video up Okay, now I have my pose. I'm going to click here. Since I want headless, I'm going to, instead of making the head transparent, I'm just going to delete the head because um, this usually works for me. And then you're going to right click on the user and export it. Now you're going to want to open up After Effects and make a new composition. I would recommend using Social Media Portrait 720 x 1280 and I'm just going to name this Retouch. And then once you load in, you're going to want to click, right click here, New Solid. And then on the right panel side, switch up element and drag in elements to your solid. And you're gonna to wanna to click scene setup and it's gonna look something like this. You're going to want to click import on the top left corner and then you're going to import your 3D character. And then it should look like this, very tiny. Just click normal normalize size and it should do be like this and if you want it to be back facing you then click click the 180 degree thing to zero and then once you upload it it should look something like this and if you want gloss you're going to simply go back to scene setup so you're going to click the little arrow next to your roblox character and then click the um, material thing on, under it and right where it says textures diffuse you're going to want to copy it and then paste it where reflectivity and then you're going to scroll down to glossiness and then you're going to put it up somewhere around like 80 85 i'm going to put it at 84 and then go to reflectivity intensity i'm going to do 72 73 it doesn't it doesn't usually look too good when it's too glossed up so i wouldn't recommend doing more than 80 percent so and now you have this you can go to world transform to change the scale to rotate it a part two of this showing how to do particles and 3d movement and camera movement so stay tuned and thank you for watching